Hello folks, Tom Hall here. Today I want to introduce you to the SCW Editor. It's a brilliant piece of web audio coding by my friend Darwin Gross. Darwin's a bit of a uh, musical guru who's been around the traps for quite some time. And he's programmed up this web-based editor for making your own single cycle samples. And you bring it up by going to the URL scw.sheetsofsound.com. You'll come to this first page. It outlines a few of the ideas surrounding single cycle waveforms and there are some important notes. Be sure to read those and then click on go to editor. This brings us to the SCW editor page. And right here we have an initial sine tone single cycle sample. If I press play, you can hear it looping. Now we have these controls here. We have level, phase, frequency, bit, depth, offset, smooth, and loop clean. So let me run you through how these work. I can select a portion of the single cycle waveform like this, and I can change the level of that section. I can change the frequency. I can also change the phase. Now I can normalize this, which will also reset the controls. Let's freeze it and normalize. That way it locks in place. Now let's offset this. Change the bit depth. And now let's take a listen. That's a lot grittier. Let's freeze this and normalize. Now let's head over to this other tab called Mix In. Okay, what this allows us to do is to mix two different single cycle waveforms together. And we can mix them into either the complete single cycle waveform or a specific section. Let's freeze this and normalize. Now it's getting really messed up. Excellent. Okay, so once we've made a single cycle waveform that we like, we can head up to this menu bar here and click file and we can render out a sample. Boom, there it is, right there. Let's take a look at that. Let's go back to our main section and let's initiate a new single cycle sample. Now let's go back over to our mix in section and let's load the single cycle sample that we just rendered down to our download folder. There it is there. Now we can go ahead here and mix this back in to a new single cycle sample. Now there's a few other options I want to show you. We can render out a two second sample. We also have an undo section, a redo section, and if I mix in a portion here, and normalize, you can copy and paste. 
Fantastic. There's also the ability to set the amount of samples in the single cycle waveform that we're editing. We can have 32 all the way up to 4096. The SCW editor is in development, but we hope that you'll enjoy using it. We'll make some more advanced videos shortly.